The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, in support of FEMA and the state of California, is hard at work constructing alternate care facilities in the Los Angeles area. Two facilities are currently under construction, with two more looking to start work shortly. We had to rapidly, uh, uh, you know, mobilize to uh, support these hospitals. The, the urgent need was there. And so one thing about the Corps of Engineers is we can leverage across the entire enterprise, not just our district. A good example is we were able to leverage uh, the uh, uh, the folks at Omaha District uh, used their contract vehicle um, and that allowed us to rapidly uh, get contracts in place, rapidly uh, get the, the work going here. At Beverly Hospital, USACE contractors are working with hospital officials to upgrade a 17-bed wing of the building to care for non-COVID patients. Crews are also working to convert a pre-operation waiting room to a COVID staging area with high flow oxygen. In collaboration with the state of California, we were able to procure oxygen under this contract um, and we are piping it up into two areas of the hospital, hospital um, to offer support for COVID-19. Across town, at Adventist Health White Memorial Medical Center, crews are erecting a temporary structure on the facility's grounds, which will house 80 beds, freeing up space in the facility for COVID patients. Alternate care facilities are temporary and are being constructed to assist hospitals and medical staff handle the influx of patients the pandemic has caused. We're looking forward to wrapping this up here in short order and, and allowing Beverly Hospital to perform the services. Work is expected to be complete on Beverly and White Memorial Hospitals by mid to late March, with the other two LA facilities wrapping up shortly thereafter. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Patrick Bloodgood.